I feel like this is gonna be chaos, <laughs> but let's do it. Hello, Shotty Bays. Hello, besties. I am so excited for today's video. First of all, I am very comfortable. Yes, I do indeed have a blanket. I just wanted comfort for right now because I have some important decisions to make. I'm being very dramatic about this. I'm doing a tier ranking video. <laughs> Also, look at my Squishmallow. It is indeed an iced coffee. They have to join us here today for the important decisions I have to make. Anyway, so I've seen a lot of Bessies here on BookTube do this tier ranking thing where they basically rank books um, and they make their own templates and all that Shazam. All that Shazam. Hello, me. My mind is on DC. So I made my own little ranking thing. I am going to be ranking popular book talk books. I don't even like the term book talk books. It's just books that are popular on book talk. There you go. Hold on, let me screen record this so I can show you my tier. Made this myself. So it goes, you will probably never catch me reading these. Um, <laughs> AKA books I've never read, but I don't want to. Then I have on my TBR, will read eventually. Um, those are books that I will read one day. We just can't count on me because who knows when that day will come. Then I have, I've read this, but I wish I hadn't. AKA the books I hate, the books I truly wish had never crossed my path. This wasn't bad, but it also wasn't good. This was average. Oh my God, you're falling. Oh my God, yo, you fell. How did this happen? How did I let it come to this? Um, Some technical difficulties may or may not have occurred, but we're going to move past it. I don't really remember where I was at. Where was I? Oh, the books that are average. Okay, so these books are, they weren't good, but they also weren't bad. They were just kind of there. Then I have, I loved it, but if you ask me about it, I won't say it's my favorite. This means the books I really loved. I loved them so much but they're not my favorite books of all time, you know? But I still loved them. Does that make sense? Yes or no? And then I'm thinking about this book 24 seven. These are superior. I love them so much, but they are not quite God tier. God tier is if you disrespect this book, I will cry. So basically those are all my tiers. First and foremost, here are my books. Those are all the ones I have here that are very popular on Book Talk, or I have seen them a lot. Oh my gosh, I'm already nervous looking at this list. <laughs> Okay, where should I start? Should I go in order? Ooh, I'm gonna start with After by Anna Todd because this is hilarious. Um, I have never read this and you will probably never catch me reading it. The funny thing is, is I have it, okay? I have the first book, but I have never read it and I feel like the Statues of Limitation kind of passed there. Like, I probably just won't read it. It doesn't interest me really. I know that it started out as a Harry fan fiction, so that's interesting. I love that, but I don't know, the relationship, doesn't really intrigue me in any way, shape or form. I haven't watched the movies either. So I don't know. I just feel like that universe isn't for me. But if you think that I need to read these books, like if you really want me to, and you want me to like vlog the after series, I'll do it for you if, if I must, but it's just not something that's in the cards as of right now. From Lukov with Love. You guys know that I love this book with everything inside me. Um, if you disrespect this book, I will cry. I love it so much. Ivan and Jasmine, are everything to me, and that book is everything to me. Mariana Zapata books are everything to me. If you disrespect that book, we probably can't be friends. Why are my little pictures of my books looking a little cut off? <laughs> the fact that all of these aren't gonna like perfectly line up in the line is gonna really, really anger me. Girl in Pieces, okay. I feel like you will never catch me reading that simply because that book scares me. Um, it looks so sad. It just looks like it's gonna tug on a different part of my soul that I'm not ready to discover quite yet. I'm gonna leave you with that. Where the Crawdads Sing. Okay, I've read that one. Um, <laughs> I have a very unpopular opinion on this book and that is that I hate it. I, I don't I don't like it at all. I, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it either though. I feel like this wasn't good, but it wasn't bad because there were parts of that book that I really did enjoy but the fact that they described the pond, the swamp, the area that she was in. What do they call her? Swamp girl? Pond girl? Lake girl? No. The marsh! Marsh girl. Okay, the marsh. <laughs> Wait, did I say swamp? <laughs> the fact that they described the marsh in such vivid details that I even know like what little frogs have been where. I couldn't stand that part. Could have just told me that it was a marsh, you know? I didn't need all of that. I would say that that book wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. Addicted to you. Okay. Um, I feel like there's no explanation needed on this because obviously if you disrespect the addicted series, I will cry because I love it so, so much. It is everything to me. The core six exist in my soul 24 seven. I don't eat and sleep without thinking at least once about one of the characters from these books. So 
Do with that information what you will. We all know how I feel about this universe, so I feel like that is no surprise at all. The Silent Patient. Okay, I loved that book. I did. But it is not a book that I am constantly going back to. The plot twist was insane and it was one of the very few plot twists that ever got me because I watch a lot of horror movies and a lot of mystery and stuff. So usually plot twists don't, I don't know, I guess them really easily, but this one got me. So I'm gonna say I loved it, but if you ask me about it, I won't say it's my favorite because it's not, but I did love it. To Love Jason Thorne. Okay, when I first read To Love Jason Thorne, I did, I did really like it. I didn't love it, but I really liked it. But then the more time went on, the more I thought about Jason Thorne, the less I liked it. So with that being said, where should it go? This wasn't bad, but it also wasn't good. That's where I'm gonna put Jason Thorne. Your average Jason. However, Adam Connor, The Dare. Okay, this book terrifies me. You will never catch me reading this book. It scares me very, very much. I don't know what it's about, but just the cover and the fact that it got taken off Kindle scares me. I don't think that I am capable of handling it. So therefore I will stay away from it because I like to be in my comfort zone. Oh, Ravenhood. Okay. So I put flock on here, but I just mean the entire Ravenhood series. I'm going to say that if you disrespect this book, I will. What a great spot. Okay. I'm really vibing with my choices right now. Okay. So I don't know what happened because I said I was going to put Ravenhood in God tier, but then it accidentally went to, I'm thinking about this book 24 seven. And I only fix it at the very end of the video. So just know that it is in God tier. I just put it in the wrong place and then kind of moved on with life. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I'm going to put that on I'm Thinking About It 24-7 because I really, really loved that book. But I feel like there are people that love that book more than me. Whereas my God tier ones, I'm like, I love this more than anyone ever. <laughs> is that true? Probably not. But that's just how I feel. And Seven Husbands, I love that book. It is incredible. It is so well done. It is astonishing, but not quite God tier for me. I didn't really cry even, but I love it. It's a great book. The Wall of Winnipeg and Me. <gasps> that must go if you disrespect this, I will cry. Just because the feeling I felt with that book, indescribable. When I first read it, I quite literally read it in one sitting, first of all, which for an MZ book, that's crazy because it's like 600 pages or so. But I read it in one sitting. And then afterwards, I sat in a bathtub for literally two hours just thinking about how nothing will live up to that book. So yeah, the words, this one is gonna go on. I've read this, but I wish I hadn't because I don't think I've ever hated a book quite so much. It struck a nerve, a deep, deep nerve that I didn't even know I had, honestly. It basically checked off every single thing I could have possibly hated about a book. I read it, I did, but if you ask me, I won't say that I read it. I'll tell you that I didn't. <laughs> Okay, the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher, this one is really hard because Throttled and Collided, I really liked those books, but they're not my favorite. They were definitely like good in the series and I would never skip them and I love the couples, but they don't compare to Wrecked and Redeemed. So what are we gonna do here? I don't know. This is the first decision that I don't know what to do. What do I do? What do I do? Do I put it in I loved it, but if you ask me, I won't say it's my favorite or do I put it in I'm thinking about this book 24 seven? I'm gonna put Throttled and Collided in I loved it, but if you ask me, I won't say it's my favorite because, let me explain, the universe is my favorite. I love the universe so much and I love the couples, but the books in themselves, I wouldn't say they're my favorite books, but I really, really loved them. Yes. And then Wrecked and Redeemed. <laughs> Please hold. Where are they? There they are. Hold on. Wrecked and Redeemed are going to go on God tier because I love them so, so much. Ooh wee. Okay. Credence. <laughs> I read this, but I wish I hadn't. Very, very much so. You guys know the hatred I have for this book. I just cannot explain it, really. I, I hate it. I hate it so much. A Thousand Boy Kisses. <laughs> this is gonna be really weird because I didn't rate this book five stars, but I'm gonna put it on, I'm thinking about this book 24 seven because this is one of those books that has stuck with me and it probably always will. It's one of those that once you read it, you can't unread it. Well, all of books are like that. I think about it constantly. Like I can't listen to If I Could Fly without thinking about them. I can't do much without thinking about Poppy and Rue. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I liked this book a lot when I first read it, but then I went back and like tried rereading it and that was tough. That was tough for me. I couldn't get through it. So what are we thinking? I'm gonna say, I loved it, but if you ask me, I won't say it's my favorite because I did love it at the time that I read it, but I think if I read it now, it wouldn't be my favorite anymore. Like I probably wouldn't even have rated it the same. So, so yeah, I do love that book, but I'm not obsessed with the book. 
I'm, I'm questioning everything. Did I put dirty air where I should have? I don't think so, because I do think about Throttled and Collided a lot. But they're not my favorite in the Dirty Air series, because Wrecked and Redeemed are god tier. But I could put them in, I'm thinking about this 24-7. But am I though? I'm thinking about the universe 24-7, but am I thinking about those specific books 24-7? Oh man. This is rough. I'm gonna leave it where it's at for now. All the lights we cannot see. Um, you will probably never catch me reading this. It looks so sad and I don't think I can take it. I don't even think it's a happy ending. And books that are not happy endings are usually a big no for me. I try to stay away from those. Life already kind of doesn't have a happy ending, you know what I mean? So I don't want it in books. <laughs> a Court of Thorns and Roses. Okay, maybe I'll read this eventually i don't know i have the first book i got it so so long ago somebody sent it to me a long time ago and i i don't know if i'll ever read it like the fantasy aspect does intrigue me but i'm not sure maybe i won't maybe i will i don't know we don't know what future me will do but let's just say it's on my tbr a little life you will never catch me reading this never i bought it thinking i would i was definitely planning on it but then i looked at it deeply and i was like no no, it looks like one of those books that just makes you sad for the sake of making you sad. Like it doesn't even do anything else. It just makes you so sad. I don't want that. I'm already sad. We're good. We're good. No, thank you. This election, same thing. You will probably never catch me reading this because it just doesn't look like my type of book. Her name is America. Hi, America. I am Brazil. <laughs> The joke wasn't funny the first time I made it, and now here I am trying it again. It just doesn't look like it's for me. I don't think I'll be reading that one. The Unhoneymooners. Okay, this one was good, but it wasn't bad. Wait, no. This one wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad either. I'm gonna put it in that category, because it was average. It was good. I remember I really liked it the first time I read it. But then, again, just like Jason Thorne, the more I thought about it, the more it was just okay. So I would say that one is good. It's good, but it's not bad. What? It's good, but it's not great. And it's great, but it's not bad. What? No, all of this is wrong. The book is good, but it's not amazing, but it's also not bad. It's average, it's very average. That's the perfect category to put it. Why am I overthinking this? Okay, From Blood and Ash, this one is on my TBR. I will read it eventually. I do wanna to get to know, what's his name? Hawk? Is his name Hawk? I feel like that's not right. Whatever the guy's name is in that book. I do wanna know him. I do wanna read that book. I will. You've reached Sam. Nope, nope. I will never be reaching Sam. I reach Sam never. You've reached Larissa and I am hanging up because that book is not for me. It looks so sad. It is literally about this guy dies and like his girlfriend calls his phone and he answers and they talk one last time. Excuse me? No, thank you. Nope. The Spanish love deception. Okay, I'm sorry, but this is going on my god tier. I know that a lot of you are like gasping for air right now and you are crying and screaming because you hate this book, but I love it and I will love it forever. So let me live. Erin Blackford. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and just the book being a Latin book, like it's set in Spain and Lena is Latina and like her family is Latina. So we get to see a lot of that. It just, it really tugged on my heartstrings, okay? The Brazilian in me was so pleased. That's a god tier book for me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Corrupt, okay, this one's on my TBR. The entire Devil's Night series is on my TBR, but I haven't read it yet. I am excited to see what the fuss is all about, if it's amazing or if it's not good. I don't know. I'll let you know eventually. Terms and Conditions. I'm thinking about this book 24 seven. I love that book so much. I love that universe so much. Declan and Iris, it's specifically Iris, yes. I wouldn't say it's a god tier book for me, like I know some people don't like it and I could see that, but I'm thinking about it 24 seven for sure. You guys, I wanna move Throttled and Collided. I really do because I love them. I am thinking about them 24 seven. I'm gonna move them. I'm gonna move them to here. That makes more sense. See, that just looks better. It makes so much more sense. Why did I put them there in the first place? I can't even believe, I can't believe I did that. The Mindfuck series, God tier, God tier. I love you. I love Lana and Logan so much. If you disrespect them, I may or may not cry. Things We Never Got Over. I loved this book. I'm thinking about it 24 seven. It is not God tier to me, but I love it so much. I love the small town. I love the vibes. I love Naomi. I love Nux. The Simple Wild. This is on my TBR. I'm very excited to read it. I'm thinking fall vibes. Maybe I'll read it in the fall. Birthday Girl. Okay, this one. Hmm. I have mixed feelings towards this because I loved it when I read it, right? But then, I don't think about it 24 seven. I'm gonna say loved it, but it's not my favorite because I really enjoyed it and Pike Lawson, mwah, enjoyed it. And it was my first spicy book ever. So definitely have a special place in my heart, but I don't think about it all the time. Ooh, the Twisted series. Okay, so Twisted Love. Okay, okay, okay. 
Twisted Love, I'm gonna put on, I loved it, but if you ask me, it's not my favorite because the plot twist in that book really took me by surprise and I was like, what the book? Um, so it's not my favorite in the Twisted series, but I really did like it. And then I have Twisted Games. Do I put it on, I'm thinking about this 24 seven? Cause I'm not thinking about it 24 seven, but I did like it. I'm gonna put it next to Twisted Love. That seems right. Then Twisted Hate and Twisted Lies on the other hand are superior. I love them so much, but are they God tier? I would say I'm thinking about these 24 seven. Hello, oh my God, I don't know how to work this. Stop it, stop it. There you go. Yes, yes. I would say I'm thinking about them 24 seven because once again, if you hate on these books, I won't cry, but I love them so, so much. And I do think about them constantly. Christian and Stella and Jules and Josh are just always on my mind. People we meet on vacation. Okay, this was, this wasn't good, but it wasn't bad either. I liked it actually. Each read on the other hand, I'm gonna put with, I loved it, but if you ask me, I won't say it's my favorite because I did love it, but I don't think about Gus and January all the time. Book Lovers is my favorite though. Book Lovers would be, and I'm thinking about this one. Oh my God, I didn't put Book Lovers on here. <gasps> Night Circus, this one is on my TBR. I will read it eventually. Same with Red Queen. Punk 57, okay. <laughs> I loved Punk 57. I'm gonna put Punk 57 next to Birthday Girl. Normal People, I will probably never read this. I don't know why. The cover doesn't intrigue me. The concept doesn't intrigue me. Pretty much nothing about it screams to me to read it, convince me to read it, and maybe I will. Maybe I could vlog myself reading it. Ooh, fun. Speaking of uh, normal people, conversations with friends will also go on that category. But if you really want me to read both of those, maybe I'll make a reading vlog doing both. For now, it'll stay on. You will probably never catch me reading it because if you don't convince me, if you don't force me, I probably won't. They both die at the end. I read this, but I wish I had not. It was bad. I didn't like it. A book that is literally called They Both Die at the End. I should have known what was coming, right? And yet I didn't. Throne of Glass, maybe I'll read it. I don't have it, but maybe I'll read it one day. The Roommate, I loved it, but if you ask me, I won't say it's my favorite. It was good. The Kiss Quotient, okay. I loved it, but if you ask me, it's not my favorite. Same thing. The Cruel Prince, it's on my TBR. I've tried starting Cruel Prince several times and it just never hits different for me. Like I can never get past like two chapters. So I'm gonna put it on there because maybe I'll try again, but don't count on it. <laughs> It happened one summer, woo, I love that book. Okay, um, I'm thinking about this 24 seven. Am I, or is it I loved it? But if you ask me, I won't say it's my favorite. Yeah, I'm gonna put it there because I did love that book, but I'm not thinking about it 24 seven. The Poppy War, it's on my TBR. Maybe I'll read that eventually. We Were Liars, I read this, but I wish I had not. I wish I had not, um, I hated that book. I know that book is very half-half. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm on the I hate it side. Ooh, negativity. The deal. Okay, this one is going on if I loved it. Hello? I loved it, but if you ask me, I won't say it's my favorite because I used to think about it 24 seven, but now I've read so many books that I think about those more often than I do the deal, but Gary Graham remains superior to me. Uh, Man in the French Kiss, you will never catch me reading this. It's just probably never gonna happen. The Priory of the Orange Tree. Okay, so with that book, I literally thought it was called The Priority of the Orange Tree for the longest time. It definitely belongs in, you will probably never catch me reading this. It is so long, it terrifies me. That's what she said. <laughs> No, but actually, the priority of the orange tree, probably not gonna happen. <laughs> Same with the firekeeper's daughter. I don't know if that one is for me. It doesn't call out to me. Clearly my books talk to me, as you can see. And that one is just not really screaming loud enough. Maybe one day it will, but probably not. Shatter Me, that one's on my TBR. It's embarrassing that I haven't read it yet. In fact, I read, I think five chapters of it. My bookmark is still on there, but I had never finished it. So I will continue one day. That day is not today, but eventually. Daisy Jones and the Six, God tier. God tier. I love Daisy Jones and the Six so much. One of my favorite books of all time. The Hating Game, I loved it, but if you ask me, I won't say it's my favorite. I did love The Hating Game so, so much. It was one of the first books I read in the romance category, so it'll always have a special place in my heart, but I'm not thinking about it 24 seven and it's not God tier. Song of Achilles, this one wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. <laughs> This is a very unpopular opinion. I know everybody loves Song of Achilles, but I am not one of those people. I was mostly really bored and I did not like Achilles. I know you're screaming, I'm sorry. The Love Hypothesis. I loved it, but I won't say it's my favorite. The Fine Print, I'm thinking about it 24 seven. Yes, I am. The Atlas Six, okay. I, th I think about the Atlas Six way too often. Yes, 24 seven. I love the Atlas Six. It is one of the very few books that I reread my annotations often. I love the character so much, so character-based, but I also really enjoy the plot. I annotated the hell out of it. 
Yes, it was a little confusing, which is why it's not in the God tier category, but I do love it. This is where it ends. This is where I never read you because that is never gonna happen. Nope, nope, nope. I don't have the facilities to handle that. I am not the kind of person who can pick up that book, read it, and then put it down and like live my life dandy. Like, no, I will think about it every day until the rest of my life is over. So no, I can't. It is way too sad, I can't do it. Archer's voice, God tier, right up there as it deserves. All the bright places, I'll never read this. I'm gonna be honest, I'll never read it. It is on Netflix, maybe I'll watch it, <laughs> but I won't read it. Caraval, Caraval, Car Caraval, Caraval, <laughs> Caraval is going on my TBR. I have those books. I am excited to read them eventually. My grandma really likes them, so I feel like I'll love it. It's just not the time right now, but it's on my TBR. Red, white, and royal blue, God tier, God tier. I don't care. I don't care what you have to say about this book. It owns me, it owns me. I love it so much. Henry and Alex can do no wrong, no. That book is right up there. No questions about it. Shadow and Bone is my last hello. Hello? I'm putting it on. This wasn't bad, but it also wasn't good. There you go. Here's my tears. I like it, Picasso. I love these ratings very much. So, Shadi Bays, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see any more tier ranking videos. Give me some ideas on what you want me to rank, and I will do so. This was really fun. A lot of decisions were made, and I feel like later I may not agree with the decisions that were made, but for now, I'm happy with them. <laughs> I love you so, so much. Have such a good day.